It's the ultimate, the Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage. This video is sponsored by Mattel. This set isn't the ultimate garage just because they put ultimate in the name. It really is the ultimate. It has 36 parking spaces, two elevators, and eight different play zones. Oh yeah, lights and sounds. Check out the cars you get, as well as a helicopter. The back of the box explains a lot of the features. On the left, you have a spiraling speed ramp. Round and round you go until, uh-oh, you have a stunt shark waiting for you at the bottom. On the right, you have a two-lane downhill racetrack with a finish line flag to determine the winner. There's a fill-up station on the bottom as well as other driving areas. But look at all those parking spaces. By the way, when you park your cars, do you park them facing out? Or do you back them up into your parking space? Well, let's open her up. Right here, they have a little spot for you to poke a hole. And then you can just gently tear the back of the box open. It's a lot easier than trying to tear the flaps on the side of the box. Here we go. Ooh, lots of goodies. Here's the instructions. Oh, we got some stickers for our parking spaces. Oh, there's the shark. Look out! Hey, check it out. Lots of stickers and they're already pre-applied. That's fantastic. All we have to do is put the stickers on for the parking spaces. The instructions were very easy to follow. Took me about an hour to put together and ta-da! There it is, the Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage. For the lights and sounds features, you're going to need three AA batteries. On the left, you have a gas station or a power charge station. On the right, you have a service station. It even has a hidden garage. Come on out, stock car. Oh yeah, check out the fire station. And you have a Healy pad too. Check out the cool blue lights. You get five cars with the set. Do you have enough cars to fill the rest of the parking spaces? Look on the left and the right. You have elevators to take your cars up and down. Let's go ahead and bring up Monoposto. You just pull on this lever and up comes the elevator. Notice how you can easily stop on whatever level you want. It doesn't fall back down. Let's go ahead and drive Howl and Heat over to the right elevator. This is the only piece of track that you get with this set. Well, not counting the two lane strips that are for the downhill racing portion. Howl and Heat decided to park on level two. The helicopter is going to make a little trip. Look out, duck! Monoposto is going to come up the other elevator. He wants to take a drive down the spiral. Let's see if he can escape the shark. Oh, the shark got him that time. Let's try somebody else. Now it's time for Velocita. Wow, the shark caught him too. Let's do Stockar next. He's down on level three. Here he comes. Oops, a daisy. And we have our first car to successfully make the jump. Howlin' Heat is next. He's down there on level two.
he is successful as well, but boom! Sorry, stock car. We have one car left to test. Let's get down to the first level. Here comes Twin Duction. Do you think he's going to safely make it past the shark? Two cars got caught by the shark. Two cars made it safe. And no. Chomp! Now if you don't want to go down the shark route, you can just move this diverter. Ready, set, go! Well, we had a little pile up. Let's get the helicopter to help us out. Look, you can pinch the landing gear and that gives you a grabber. Come on, stock car. Let's get you to the service station, see if you need any repairs. Twin Duction landed upside down. Come on, oh, sorry. Wake up, wake up. I mentioned that you only get one piece of track with this set, but if you have Hot Wheels track, look, there's lots of places for you to connect. All of these spots mean you can add to your Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage set. It's almost like they could have called it the Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage Ultimate Starter Set. You see how I added track near the shark? You can add track in the front. There are several places. And you know what? Even in the back they have a couple connection points. I'm against the wall, but you can imagine how you can build out from there. Oh yeah, can't forget, let's do a little downhill racing. It does come with an attachment that'll help you determine the winner. The race goes so fast, it's a good thing they include a finish line flag. Let's go ahead and line up two more cars and have another race. That one was easier to see. Twin Duction gets out first and goes all the way for the win. But wait a second, those look like regular connector joints. Let's go ahead and take off the finish flags. I'm going to get some of my Hot Wheels track, connect them right up. Now, we're going to have a longer two-lane track. That just means i got to get the finish flag and put it all the way at the end. So what do you think? You're going to enjoy filling it up with your favorite cars? 36 parking spaces, that's a lot. You can rotate cars in and out. Or are you looking forward to adding your Hot Wheels track builder parts like I have done here? So you don't want to do a downhill race? How about add some track over there? Some curves, some loops? Come on, race crews, what are you doing?
Now, you don't have to add all of this track stuff. You know, that's all my stuff I had separate. But if you can, it's fantastic. It just adds to the emphasis on how ultimate the ultimate garage is. Thank you for watching. And thanks again to Mattel for sponsoring this video. Bye-bye.